I had broken my head and there are bruises on my face which I have I'll show you the picture post the interview which I have still not posted okay and I've not spoken about so this guy was abusive this guy had uh, of course domestic violence was there he's beaten me up uh, you know kuch kuch every time holding the neck I have bruises and everything which I'll show you with date and the conversation where he told me sorry yahan pe yahi sikhaya jata hai ki beta din raat daru piyo drugs karo aur ash karo aur jo ladki aapne to dekha hi uski mummy ne मतलब क्या बयान क्या कौन सी माँ ये बोलती है मेरी मम्मी मुझे चप्पल से मारेगी अगर मैं ये करूँगी तो इस बंदे की स्टोरीज डाली है मैंने सब विक्टिम्स की स्टोरी डाली है इन्होंने रिकॉर्डिंग डाला मैंने कहा अगर ये पर्सनल चीज़ डालनी है तो मेरे पास तो कितना है आई हैव नॉट पोस्टेड द पिक्चर्स आई हैव नॉट पोस्टेड द कॉन्वर्जेशन वे यू अब्यूज मी राइट लेफ्ट एंड सेंटर आई हैव नॉट पोस्टेड एनी थिंग I'm pretty excited today to have Sana Khan here with us on Pink Villa and I'm so happy to see you back on screen as well with yeah. special ops uh, how was the experience like because you know you have actually worked a lot in the south southern industry a lot in fact yahan pe we see a little less of mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. when it comes mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. kept playing characters mm. Mm. what was it about special ops which really really excited you well to be very honest uh, after my vajah tum ho got released within a month i got a call from friday film works that uh, they wanted me to do a cameo with akshay sir in toiletic prem katha and it was only for 5 minutes but i was like yeah why not and i was supposed to be i, I was supposed to play a very gouty character so i was like my god they've called me for something so extremely different uh, you know in terms of character so i was like yeah you know i was very excited and then after that thing happened i still remember I remember I met Neeraj sir in his office when he was uh, starting with Ayari, and uh, I got finalized for Ayari. But uh, at that point of time, yeah. fortunately or unfortunately, I won't say unfortunately, but I was going for my holy pilgrimage, you know, which mm. I go every year to Makkah Madina for during Ramzan. And I was like, I cannot uh, unfortunately cancel that, and I left that. And I remember after two years, I got a call that when my phone started ringing like Friday film works, I was like. <gasps> they will mm-hmm. obviously call you for work and then i got to know that it's about web he's venturing into right. web and this was about roy roy agents and you know all about agents basically right. and, and I most think ne- yeah neeraj is i mean he is the best when it comes he to he is amazing neeraj, yeah. and he makes stories on real events and this is something that really attracts me and i was like thank god i'm a part of his project because to work under his direction i think is every director's every actor's dream right. so i think yeah and we also saw you got emotional when yes. the entire trailer i yes. mean you know i know you have been emotional for a lot of other reasons mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. lately but this was something which really was a very uh, in a sort of way yeah. pleasant to watch as yes. well because you couldn't believe that you were there yes. in a neeraj pande yes. Yes. Uh, you know feature yes. sort of a thing What, how did the entire experience if you have to sum up in two words how was uh, in two sentences how was it i think the very first thing i remember saying on the stage stage that for me it's a pinch me moment like i can't believe that i'm standing here with neeraj sir like you know i think what got me what what got the or what got those tears in my eyes was you know when i saw my picture and then on top it was written neeraj pandey's production right. so I was like oh god this was something that I dreamt of and obviously I was suffering anxiety and depression so my emotions were not under control if I was normal probably I would have controlled more mm. but I think but that is exactly what I felt to be very honest but you know as an actor you're supposed to control lot of things lot of emotions sometimes you don't really express what you really want to express right. so but i think jo bhi tha anxiety tha depression tha jo bhi tha but i'm glad that i could actually express fearlessly what i felt at that point of time and that was exactly something that i was feeling i would have done that at home probably if not in front of people but that is exactly what my heart was feeling right you know sana you are also someone who is very fierce and who is not afraid to uh, call a spade a spade mm. um especially this uh, show is coming at the point when you're actually going through an emotional turmoil personally yes. as well uh how are you dealing with this entire thing because just recently <laughs> we saw uh, melvin posted mm. something mm. uh wherein he is say with a hashtag with which reads men are also victim okay so oh, really? yeah uh, so i would really there are i believe some men are yeah. victims but not this one well to begin with i'll tell you the reason why girls don't come out and talk because of blackmailing this is a sort of blackmailing right. okay i'm sure he must be if he has recorded a conversation while i was there present 
I'm sure he must have recorded other stuff also, which sure. I'm not aware of because I was not aware that he was recording. I think a lot of people felt that it was a phone conversation that was recorded, but it was not. I was there standing right in front of him when I was breaking off with him. And I was like, I got to know that he's cheated on me with so many girls. And then of course, all the drama, which I've told in my previous interviews, taking swear on their parents' life and everything. And then eventually I catch the phone, I read the messages. So I got to know everything. And then, you know, while I was there and uh, it went on for two hours, okay? because he was trying to still console me and say that I love you and all that bullshit and because yeah. he thought that he's going to brainwash me and say I will not do this again and whatever but I was in no mood to take that shit so I just told him that you know I am going to make all these things public and I'm going to make people know I'm going to make sure that people know what you what you've done to me so that is the line that I'm saying there now imagine how manipulative this man is while we are fighting like you fight with your boyfriend right, right. do you record the conversation uh, no, unless you want to use it again. Exactly. Yeah. So when you're manipulating and when you want to blackmail someone, that is why you use. I have so many messages of the girls where they say, Yaar, baat karna par kar nahi sakte because he has so many pictures of mine. He has this of mine. What will my parents think? What will my society think? And I want to tell people that come out and talk. It doesn't matter. Because otherwise, people are going to keep blackmailing you. He thought he's going to blackmail me last night. But why am I crying in the video is the question I want to ask people. If I am telling you that I am going to reveal you publicly, it should be like a challenge, you know, that you watch what I'm going to do to you. Right. Why am I crying? Because this monkey hit me. Okay. Okay. And I have those pictures of he hitting me and I had broken my head and there are bruises on my face, which I have. I'll show you the picture post the interview, which I have still not posted. Okay. And I've not spoken about. So this guy was abusive. This guy had, uh, of course, domestic violence was there. He's beaten me up, uh, you know. Kuch kuch every time holding the neck, I have bruises and everything which I'll show you with date and the conversation where he told me sorry and all that I have and I was crying at that point of time and, I, and of course I got to know everything so I was like I'm going to tell the world who you really are okay and that is when he started recording like dude if you have the guts reveal the full conversation okay agar insaan phone mein normal conversation bhi karta hai to koi normal call bhi hona chahiye na jhagde ke din jab main jhagda kar rahi hu abhi aap video sunoge it's very simple i'm only repeating everything that he's saying like one stubborn child oh you yeah, yeah yeah i'm going to do this yeah, yeah. We, we all do that if my mother says don't go out no i will go out no do this no i will do that it's it's a very basic thing that somebody does he's only sent recorded that few part uske baad people are sending me because obviously i'm not even stalking him he's not worth it uh, so people are sending me stuff where he's written, oh, um, my TV, washing machine and all that stuff. We were in Krabi and, uh, you know, his, uh, it was his friend's birthday, which I had no, uh, you know, I, I didn't know about it. And I had gone to Jordan for my uh, uh, beauty practice for my clinic, which I own. So he's like, Toh, ek din ka ke, I come to Krabi. And then a lot of other discoveries happened over there where it led to not talking, you know, when I yeah. came back from Krabi. So I remember I told him last day that, you know, why should I spend my money on your friend's birthday? You know, ek yeah. main khud ke paise se rahi all my travel was always from my money hmm. and what he was traveling was sponsored by me. So uh, if he has the uh, guts, he should come and say that also first, okay? So then I told him that you wasted my money. So he's telling me, so you want the money back of, you mean ticket, you want the money back? I said, of course, you know how you say yeah. that when you're so angry. And he's like, okay, I'll give you the, okay, so you have to return everything that I've spent on you throughout the year. I said, can you tell me what have you spent? You've given me only five Snickers, which yeah. is 10,000, 12,000 or whatever the price is. And you've given me like a bracelet and a chain. And he had given me phone initially, which he only broke on my head and he got me and he gave me a cut, which I'll show you what happened. So that phone is any which way is gone, it's, it's conked off. So when I am, I have given you so many things, so I will also say, na, give me things back. He just forgot to mention the watches and the LVs and everything, which was way, way, way expensive. And sabse important baat, if you're revealing the truth and men are victim, darling, why is your comment section off? I don't have any comment section off on any of my posts that I've posted, be it anything. Why your comment section is off? Now, when the article came out, so this guy is making this video. He is calling me, but he is so stupid. Who is calling you? He is calling himself. So, the real thing is that he is not calling him. Do you understand? You always molest girls, drug girls. Because he is not calling him. There is a reality check. But you have to show something else in the world. And now this guy on this post has written that you mocked my race. I'm assuming color is something that he's talking. So I think when I started dating him, he was the same color. Yeah. It's not that he was like me and suddenly he burnt out. So he's basically he's 
what you're trying to say is he's using yeah like when you say that you're walking at my yeah. race dude you looked like this when i was dating you it's not that you were white orange some something like me and it's not that suddenly you've changed into a different color you've transformed into something else you were always like this i think when you actually opened up about it he did not actually thought through that you would actually go out and open up no no i told him know, on his face but that but, i am going to say what you've done you to know, me maybe that's why he was a little like taken aback no because till he, now i didn't reveal that he were, he used to also do domestic violence on me yeah. that is the reason i think he was quiet mm. and all the girls who think that i'm not going to talk about them they are highly mistaken i've mm. just given their initials i'm going to give out their names also because people should know tomorrow the girlfriends and the wives that who their boyfriends and husbands are getting associated with if these girls can do things with this guy who is committed in a relationship he is any which way is dirt forget him but the girls for a video on instagram imagine you give them real work you understand so people need to know that such girls exist and these are the girls who have spoiled this industry yeah. and these are the men who have exploited the girls i have worked with neeraj pandey's production there are still people who are giving you work because they feel that you fit the character yeah. and there is no bullshit happening around there they respect you there are people like that who exist so what are you talking वो बोलते हैं ना किसी ने सही कहा है ये आपने गाना तो सुना होगा ना कि भलाई कभी औरतों की क्रांति के बिना नहीं होगी जमाना बदल गया यारो बात अब वही नहीं होगी सो दिस इज द टाइम टिल द टाइम वुमेन आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्टैंड फॉर देम सेल्स पीपल आर गोइंग टू थिंक दैट दिस इज व्हाट दे कैन डू टू देम बट आई थिंक इट्स टाइम ओवर फॉर देम नाउ इट्स टाइम्स अप यू नो लाइक यू मेंशन दैट ही हैज हैड uh he has exploited women in yeah. the name of work yes. and he has exploited them in the name of relationships yes. as well and also domestic violence yes. was one of the have you uh, gotten in touch with any of those women yes. and spoken to them what are what is the ordeal that they shared with you because obviously we will also reach out to them as part of yeah of our, course i will uh, uh, let but, you speak to them yeah. as well uh i remember i don't remember of course this girl called messaged me he had gone to bangalore jain university and uh, jab aap college mein jaate to nahi college ki girls only are there to help you guide you and bring you to the hotel and everything so there was this one girl uh, where uh, imagine he patted her from airport to hotel only and uh, of course whatever should happened and uh, then he also took 20000 rupees from her yeah ab yahi bola hoga na camera ye wo video to free karunga ye ye i'll promote you in dance and whatever and then when she came back to bombay he blocked her so all this thing happened over there then there was this one girl she's from hyderabad so she had come here and i think some tony guy she mentioned who was there at that point of time with him in bandra and uh, usne inko introduce karwaya ke uh, you know uh, in ye he is doing good and all that matlab batao 2018 ki baat hai ye and uh, all these things were there and then this girl met uh, this guy and then he drugged her लाइक ऐसा भी नहीं कि बातें क्या ही ड्रग हर लिटरली सो शी इज लाइक सना आई गॉट सो ट्रामाटाइज विथ ऑल दैट ड्रगिंग पार्ट एंड एवरी थिंग आई लेफ्ट बॉम्बे आई एम बैक टू हैदराबाद नाउ आई हैव लेफ्ट डांसिंग आई डोंट लाइक इट एनी मोर आई हैव जॉइंट एन आई टी कंपनी नाउ is there a police action or police report that these any of these women are planning to do because these are not this is not a simple case you of never a know. relationship you never know if i can wrong. speak if i will speak to them there's this one girl from punjab where again i think this drugging thing is some he's a cokehead by the way people don't know it but he's a cokehead so the thing is uh, that's how he drugged all this girl by spiking their drinks ye jo movie mein dekhte hai na ye sab ye real mein hota hai this is some real sawdhan right. india happening okay एंड uh, ये यहाँ पे इन लोगों के ड्रिंक्स में कुछ डालता है इनको ड्रग्स देता है पता नहीं क्या करता है इन द नेम ऑफ व्हाट एंड दिस गर्ल्स हैव स्पोकन सो येस्टरडे व्हेन ही पोस्टेड माय वॉइस नोट सो दिस गर्ल मैसेज इज लाइक बेब्स आई एम विथ यू आई एम रेडी टू टॉक शी हैज अ बॉयफ्रेंड नाउ एंड आई एम सो ग्लैड दैट द बॉयफ्रेंड नोज एवरी थिंग एंड इज ऑल आउट देर सपोर्टिंग हर एंड यू नो लाइक यू नो लेट लाइक ठीक है यू मीट सच मॉन्स्टर्स इन लाइफ यू नो एंड दैट इज देर सो दिस गर्ल इज लाइक लिटल बट शी इज लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट आई टॉक दिस इन अदर गर्ल Uh, who he molested in Bandra studio she was 13 years old then now she's 16 she stays in lokhanwala only so she had come to my clinic she's like if anything is there you tell me he's like molesting as in of course he used to look at me in a very dirty way and touch me inappropriately kyunki usse zyada to fir rape hota hai na itna hua tha so she's like even i can say all that is there i said okay but i really want to understand because sana you are someone who is so fierce hmm. i'm sure it must be difficult at that point when hmm. you were in the relationship when he probably you know hit you for the first yes. time or held you wrongly yes. for the first time yes. why didn't you object then or why didn't you take a definite <laughs> step then i really want to i'll know. tell you one thing what happens is when you're in a relationship this guy at first brainwashed me okay for 6 months i was not meeting anyone anyone means anyone alone he was everywhere with me okay 
even if i'm traveling for my events this guy used to accompany me literally i remember one day when we had gone to watch this movie the nun i don't know what happened to him he was coked up that day so i didn't know this later i got to know that he's also a cokehead which i didn't know while in the relationship okay so this is later when i got to know all this everything opened up all together after my breakup happened i think people just gathered the guts to come and tell me yeah. everything yeah. so uh ye tab hua and then suddenly i i remember that he twisted my ear so bad while i was watching the movie because he was angry on something and i still remember i threw that popcorn on his face and i was like you are a shit influencer that's all i could say and i was crying and i ran outside the theater it was city mall and main gaadi mein baith gaya maine gaadi lock kar diya pura and then this guy was banging ab mujhe kya tha na ki sab log bahar dekh rahe only for that thing i unlocked my car he got in and the same thing and then he breaks a lighter on my thigh which i'll show you the picture my full leg was bruised and i had lot of allergy for for weeks that happened and then again he's like sorry and before that he had broken his leg so you understand na when you are already in substance yeah. you already had that thing which you came and then he's like i'm so sorry and i don't know how he brainwashed me that i couldn't think anything beyond you understand every time i was falling for his shit and then there was a day where uh, i met him and you know on on what he broke my head <laughs> that i messaged my trainer he had this thing of checking my phone because right. kya hota na wo khud wo karta hai to usko laga main bhi aise hu right. so he just took my phone i said yeah you can check i had just told my trainer that you know i have i am in my weak days yeah. and uh, i cannot work out because Today, yeah. i really have back pain and it's very heavy i can't do it how did you tell the trainer this like what are you talking people are like akshay kumar is talking openly about pads what are you talking yeah and then you talk to people that you know th- like you should not be shy of this it's a basic it's a normal thing hypocrisy on that it, he hit yeah. me until then i had not seen my face and i was only crying and i was swollen and i had bruises and my head was broken and then suddenly he tells me what happened to your forehead you came only like that i ran to the mirror to see what happened to me and after that he boycotted me as in he just grounded me in his house he was not opening the door he was pulling me getting me back and i was my mere dimag pe pata what time kya chal raha tha i want this door to be opened i want to run from here i don't want this relationship i don't want to see him another time and then he's begging me and then he opens his bedroom ka window he's like i'm going to jump from here i said jump and i ran out and then suddenly he held me and then started he's like you know there is lot of stress in my work i have to pay so many bills there's not itna kaam nahi hai this he started giving me soft stories and you're in love with the person you understand and then afterwards i came home i still remember i made a video next day and i sent him that you know i've concealed my face and everything my mom doesn't know and from bedroom only i did my makeup and i left out and four days back he confessed to one common friend of ours from street ball league ke bro cheat kiya hai na cheat kiya hai maine usme badi baat kya hai sab cheat karte hai to agar badi baat nahi hai bhai to aake bol dena sabke samne can i say that today you are a little cynical about love then i'm not because uh, i have uh, met good people and i know that good people exist and just because i met a monkey doesn't mean everybody is the same i know that there are good people and i will meet them if i am a good girl but there are other girls also na like miss sd ks and ed and ps all these initial girls there are girls like them also but there is girl like me also so i'm sure that there are, there is a boy who's like me also in sab ki percentage thodi kam hai but hai Right. So I am not going to judge other good boys because one idiot did something which was not appropriate. Right. Because there are people who have good upbringing. Here the problem is upbringing. Here the problem is no values. यहाँ पे यही सिखाया जाता है कि बेटा दिन रात दारू पियो, drugs करो और ऐश करो. और जो लड़की आपने तो देखा ही उसकी मम्मी ने मतलब क्या बयान किया? कौन सी माँ ये बोलती? मेरी मम्मी मुझे चप्पल से मारेगी अगर मैं ये करूँगी तो. I was coming to that. that who who you know, says all this? Yeah. How is your mother reacting to? Because I'm sure now she must know Jeez. what all you have gone through, and especially, I mean, you know, emotional trauma is different, and the physical trauma as well that yes. you have opened up about. I'm sure she must learn. She must have learned everything know. just now. She doesn't know yet. Maybe after this interview, somebody is going to tell her. How can you tell your mom that the guy you like and you're fighting for is hitting you? Oh, she doesn't know as yet. Doesn't know. But I had to tell this today. My mom. first of all never approved of him the first time she saw her i think the first thing that she told me next morning which i told previously is like sara this guy is a womanizer don't even be friends forget about relationship but i always thought that moms you know old school hai judge karti hai because of his appearance and everything and my mom every mom feels that you deserve better you know when you they see your partner at least thoda manners ethics wo dikhna chahiye jo meri mom ko usme nahi dikha jo correct tha lekin mujhe dikh raha tha kyunki i was blind in love 
तो ये सारी चीज़ें हुई आई स्टिल रिमेंबर कि जब मैंने मेरी मॉम को बोला कि एक बात बतानी है मुझे मेरा ब्रेकअप हो गया है मेरी मॉम ने आगे कुछ सुना ही नहीं मेरी मॉम ने सबसे पहले एक चीज़ किया शुक्र अल्लाह है अल्लाह का लाख लाख शुक्र है कि वो गया क्योंकि वो तेरे लायक बिल्कुल नहीं था मेरी मॉम पूरा साल मुझे कहती थी सना तू कुछ भी बोल ले ये बंदा पीछे अल्कोहल लेता है और ये एक नंबर का सेल्फिश है और ये तेरा कभी नहीं होगा मेरी माँ ये घर बैठती शी डीन स्टेप आउट ऑफ द हाउस she said that to me you were so much in love that you so did much. not see all these signs which were i have not on. seen any red flags because i life. believe that if a man can in fact a woman as well yeah. i mean whoever can hit once can yeah. hit a yeah. number of times no, but I after mean, that i told him if you ever mm-hmm. raise your hand on me i'm going to break your head hmm. and he knew i could do that so he never raised his hand again again yeah, yeah. but those incidents were scary Yeah. And yeah, and uh, recording while you're talking is the most funniest shit I've ever witnessed in my life. But are you finally <laughs> planning to take any action whatsoever when it comes to legal action? Depends against how much they provoke me. But why not now? I mean, because there is enough. I mean, you have enough proof, like you mentioned. Correct. Uh, to actually, because if not, if mm. not, someone takes that mm. uh, stand mm. and that effort, mm. no one else. Will. I can think about it. Yeah, not a problem. I can think about it. I know the law. I know that there is lot of law that says that, and uh, where I can definitely show the proofs and conversation. Because I'll tell you, I have taken all the stories on Instagram. I have also taken all the victims' stories. 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 I have not posted right. the pictures. I have not posted the conversation where you've abused me right, left, and center. Right. I have not posted anything. I have not posted where you have character assassinated me. No. Right. Actually, he thinks everywhere, whoever I work with, I have a thing with him because that is how he works. So, insan jaisa hai, wo dusro ko to waisa hi dekhega na. Simple si baat hai. So, yehi chizey wahan pe ho rahi thi. But thank you so much, thank Sana. You. Uh, it takes lot of strength and courage to open up and speak about what all you have gone through. Yes, it was I tough. Have it was I, very tough i am gutted myself to yes. hear about certain things that you have revealed mm-hmm. today and i hope other girls also feel that strength and they come out and share their stories with us thank you so much and thank all you. the very best for special ops i'm you. so sure you're going to rock it thank you if you like this video please share like and subscribe